from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Library of Congress. My name is Nicholas Brown, and I am with the Office of Special Events and Public Programs here. I'm also the president of the Hispanic Cultural Society at the library, and you might be guessing why is he that if his last name is Brown, and that's because that's my dad's name and my mother's last name is Casades. I'm actually part Honduran, and I've always been uh, interested in, in raising the profile of uh, Hispanic programming here at the library. So very pleased to welcome you on behalf of the Hispanic Cultural Society also the library as a whole, and uh, also especially our Hispanic division, which is represented by Catalina in the back. Everyone can wave, yay, awesome. Uh, we really appreciate the Hispanic division's sponsorship of this evening's program. Uh, tonight we're gonna have a wonderful concert by Chris Urquiaga, who is a singer, songwriter, and pianist based in Silver Spring, Maryland. He has quite a distinguished uh, career as a performer and composer songwriter. You can read all about that on the back of your program. He has performed at places such as the Kennedy Center, Strathmore, and for uh, in the White House, of course, very exciting, uh, and for d distinguished VIP audiences, including the President and First Lady Obama, Senator Chris Van Hollen, Representative John Sarbanes, and the Attorney General of Maryland, Brian Frosch. And uh, he's also received commissions from the Congressional Chorus. Tonight, he's gonna perform uh, Latin pop songs representing both the Spanish language and the Portuguese language traditions. And I'm sure there will be some familiar tunes in there for you and also some of his original compositions. Uh, if, if you're gonna do social media with us this evening, we invite you to use the hashtag LCConcerts. Uh, the library's main Twitter accounts are at Library Congress and at events underscore LOC. Uh, this event is part of our National Hispanic Heritage Month celebrations. There's a calendar in the back that you can grab. Also visit our uh, Hispanic Heritage Month portal, which is hispanicheritagemonth.gov. It's a partnership with other federal agencies, including the National Park Service, National Gallery of Art, Smithsonian, and some other wonderful agencies. Uh, the month is packed with events, and you'll see those all on your calendar, including the screening of Selena on October 13th, 7 p.m. in the Pickford Theater in this building, as well as several lectures. Uh, one is entitled Mexico's Nobodies, The Cultural Legacy of the Soldadera and Afro-Mexican Women. And that is on October 12th. Also not on your calendar are some special events that are gonna be announced in the next few days. And those are all taking place on Monday, October 9th during the library's semi-annual main reading room open house in the Jefferson Building. The library has partnered with Discovery in Espanol for the first time, Gesundheit. Salud, and uh, we're gonna be hosting the public premiere uh, film screening of a, f a docudrama focused on Benito Juarez, and there's gonna be a treasures display relating to his life and work, as well as children's activities related to Frida Kahlo, because why not, she's pretty awesome, and uh, tours of our Exploring the Early Americas exhibit, and there's also a special Hispanic Heritage Month display of treasures that's ongoing in the Jefferson Building. Uh, so please join us on social media to hear more about all of those wonderful events. They're all free. This is your library. Uh, please come back and enjoy it uh, as much as you can. And welcome to those who are out of town, who are from out of town. And uh, without further ado, we'll welcome up Chris. from the midday sun when I hear you whispering the words to melt everyone the juice that's so cold my moon Yaquita my Spanish heart and Mona Lisa you're my reason for reason the step in my groove and if you said this life ain't good Just 
uh, that could be made between the samba piece, Aquarela do Brasil, and the girl from Ipanema, and what genre the girl from Ipanema represents. So this is Aquarela do Brasil, following that, the girl from Ipanema.
but I think that we should uh, cover a little bit, uh, cover a little bit more ground there before we uh, embark on a, on another journey to another country. So the next two pieces um, are pieces that are some of, by some of my favorite composers. The next one is by a composer by the name of Jean Gibin Jean, a singer-songwriter in Brazil, and actually many people think that this piece is written by Sergio Mendes. Sergio Mendes actually created a very famous cover in the 1960s of this piece. This one is uh, Mais que nada, and in Portuguese that's an expression for yeah, right, as in you don't believe someone, so you say, yeah, right. And I actually just uh, performed this at the Kennedy Center, my very first headlining show there a few days ago, uh, last Wednesday to be exact. I performed that there with an awesome band which included some Strathmore um, artists as well. And following that, I'm going to be doing my rendition, my arrangement, which I did while I was in college at the Eastman School of Music in New York. This one that's right after my Shinada is Samba de Verão, and that in Portuguese means Samba Samba, and it's by a wonderful Brazilian composer by the name of Marcos Valle, a lesser known name than a Jobim um, or Vinicius de Moraes, but uh, certainly one that's uh, worth looking up for sure. So this one, or these next two rather, are Maishkinada and Samba de Verão. Vou pedir, vou falar 
vou dizer que o amor foi feitinho pra dar Se vamos a sanar las heridas de nuestro pasado 
the samba rhythms in there, but you got the jazz chords over it. 
you know, especially in, in bossa nova music. And in salsa music, it's, uh, pretty, much, it's pretty much got a, a similar vibe to it. And so now we're going to be going to Cuba, or Cuba, depending on, you know, where I'm at. I, you know, I, need, I try to be a good Latino and uh, pronounce my, my uh, Spanish terms right. But this one is a stand that I'm sure you all have heard called La Vida es un Carnaval by the wonderful Celia Cruz. And she was the very first, uh, inter uh, should I say, Cuban songstress to become an international star in the world for Cuban music. And she's become this great icon for really getting Latin American music and culture out there, helping to do that along with other great artists. And following that will be another um, songstress, but this time we're going to be going to Puerto Rico. It's by uh, a singer by the name of La India. She's the one who made this song famous called uh, Seduceme. And uh, this one is from the early 2000s. It was a hit song of hers. And uh, you know, just want to keep in mind, as we're performing this music from the Caribbean tonight, uh, of all the, the islands there, our fellow friends and uh, neighbors there that are hit by the, the devastation, the, the weather disasters there. You know, as we're enjoying our night in song, we definitely want to you know, make sure that we uh, you know, have our hearts and minds go out to them as we're going on this evening in song. So this is Cuba's La Vida es un Carnaval, made popular by Celia Cruz, and Puerto Rico's Seduceme, made popular by La India. Es más bello vivir cantando 
oh, 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 ay, no hay que llorar, que la vida es un carnaval y las penas se van cantando.
going to be exploring some of the, uh, the different uh, influences, or should I say the salsa, the specific salsa Latin music influence that uh, composers around the world have, including myself. The next one, or should I say the next two pieces are actually going to represent uh, some of the uh, composers that were influenced uh, by this uh, salsa music, this music with this Latin uh, tinge to it, and specifically the salsa romantic pop music. And uh, the first one is by one of my favorite uh, Spanish-European singer-songwriters, Alejandro Sanz. This one comes from his 1997 hit album, Mas, and it's one of my favorite uh, salsa romantic pieces to perform. The one after that is one from more recent years by a composer named Chris Wukiaga. He's actually going to be, yeah, no, 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 stop, no, stop in the third person, just stop. No, I'm going to be doing one that's actually going to come for my next album. It's a salsa pop piece that I was inspired to write in uh, South America, meeting different artists down there, jamming with them. And I remember when I was uh, in South America, we would just have these random jazz, uh, we wouldn't play too many jazz pieces per se, we'd have a lot of jam sessions in which we play uh, a lot of pop, Latin, Latin standards. Sometimes, you know, you could classify some of it as Latin jazz, what we would perform after a few, you know, caipirinhas, I don't know if y'all had that, a strong Brazilian a, a drink there, and tequila, which I'm sure you all know, being that we're uh, good neighbors to Mexico or neighbors to the South. And so we just have a good time there, and you know, just come up with a bunch of improv and uh, performing pieces like uh, the ones you just heard, uh, Caribbean music, and also European Spanish pieces. And uh, with, this is one that I performed at a jam session down there. It was me at the piano in my uncle's bar. My uncle has a very nice house down in Trujillo, Peru, one of the major cities there. And uh, he has a little separate mini house right next to his main house where the bedroom and the kitchen is. And he has just a bar and a piano. And also, you know, some other things people can play with, like, um, like pool and all that kind of stuff. So that's the entertainment room. So this is one that I was inspired to write in the entertainment room. So here is Corazón Partido, which in Spanish means broken heart. Following that will be my piece, Amor Profundo, which in Spanish means profound love. Que me va a entregar 
sus emociones Que me va a pedir que nunca me abandone Que me tapara esa noche si hace frío Que me va a curar el corazón partido Que llenará de primaveras este enero Y bajará la luna para que juguemos Dime si tú te vas, dime cariño mío Que me va a curar el corazón partido Que me va a entregar sus emociones Que me va a pedir que nunca me abandone Que me tapara esa noche si hace frío que me va a curar el corazón partido Que llenará de primaveras este enero Y bajará la luna para que juguemos Dime si tú te vas, dime cariño mío Que me va a curar el corazón partido Dime si tú te vas, dime cariño mío Que me va a curar el corazón partido Estoy enamorado 
thank y'all so much for coming out to support me. I really appreciate it. Now, uh, I know some of you all may have been a little bit puzzled, surprised, confused when you all saw my last name, thinking, hmm, this is not a last name that's really common around here. Now, you guys lucked out if you don't know how to pronounce it, don't know where to place the emphasis, because I've heard of all different kinds of pronunciations in my lifetime. I could make a YouTube video on that. I've heard Urquiga, Urquega, so y'all lucked out. I'm going to help y'all out with this one. So my last name is Urquiaga. Repeat after me. Ur, Ki, Aga. Urquiaga. Y'all are so smart. Such an intelligent crew here. So that is actually of uh, Basque origin. Basque country in Europe, as many of my ancestors came from there. And I have uh, many ancestors, not only from Basque country in Europe, but also from, uh, from Italy and also uh, Portugal. And they all immigrated, most of them, a lot of them came down, immigrated down to the Americas, and uh, especially in Brazil and Peru. And, this, and the name is actually fairly, fairly popular in Peru. Not too popular, but you know, it's not, uh, it's not as weird as seeing it here. In, in the United States, so uh, that's a little bit of my heritage and where uh, my name came from. And if you want to find more of my music, it's on uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. You can find it under my name, Chris Wukiaga, and I got business cards over there if y'all need a little bit of assistance or forgetting my last name a bit. Uh, you can also find it under my URL on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, uh, J Chris Music. That's J C H R I S Music. So J Chris Music, you can find all my YouTube videos, uh, videos I've uploaded. Uh, me singing at Strathmore, and you can also see different videos on YouTube of uh, the show I just did at Kennedy Center as it was live streamed and the production company there did a wonderful job with the live stream. And now I want to uh, do another song that uh, some of y'all might recognize and I'm going to get y'all to be involved in these last two pieces. Uh, this one is for our dear friends in Puerto Rico. This is by uh, American Puerto Rican singer Mark Anthony. This is Vivir Mi Vida, which in Spanish means uh, live my life, and it actually came from uh, a song in French and Algerian Arabic originally. So Mark Anthony's version is a cover song, and the French and Algerian ver uh, Arabic version is actually has, it actually has the title of C'est la vie, which I'm sure you all have heard before, it's uh, This is Life in French, and uh, this is a wonderful cover that Mark Anthony did, and I hope that I can do this Mark Anthony cover justice as well. This is Vivir Mi Vida. Oh, yeah. 
everything that we just did put together, all my influences, all the languages I speak. This last one is an original song called Vamulan, and I actually had the privilege of performing this piece, Vamulan, and Amor Profundo, the salsa romantic piece I performed a few songs ago with the Congressional Chorus, uh, and this was this particular performance was uh, last year, but over the last couple years they've been uh, doing some of my pieces, and they're just such a wonderful and fantastic uh, community choir here in D.C. with about 90 voices, so be sure to look them up, they're in my bio. And some of them are here tonight. I want to give them a shout out. Shout out to Nancy for coming out and Ashley Ridline. I call her Ridline, like the red line. Yeah, that's her nickname right there. So yeah, so I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out to support me. This last one is Vomulan. And um, you all are going to be learning a little bit of Portuguese and you guys are going to get involved in this one. So get ready, we're going out with a bang. This is Vomulan and here is how it goes. This means let's go in Portuguese. Hey, oh, a festa nunca vai acabar. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, sir, and we're never gonna stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tonight, it's happening tonight. A celebration in your world is tonight. I, I, don't you find it's gonna be alright? There's no more drama in our lives. Let's unite. I, I, I wanna celebrate tonight. No hate is gonna put me down. I'm fine. So now I wanna reach for the stars and go with the night. The motion has 
This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.